Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at Thor Motor Coach's smallest Class A diesel pusher. What I love about it is it's not an entry level, but it's not a super luxury level. It's that perfect combination of quality and price, size, fit, and finish. This is a 2023 Thor Aria model 3401. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Aria and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be taking a look at the Thor Aria 3401. Super exciting, very nice small motorhome. Truthfully, Andrea, I see the diesel market trending this way. People still want luxury and quality, but they want it short. Before I begin, let's say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everyone. How's it going today? It's going good, Matt. I'm excited anytime we get to look at 23s. Um, I want to thank everybody for joining us for our European edition on yes. the weekends. We will have that every weekend until the end of the year. Yes. So make sure you tune into that. And also, tomorrow is the beginning of the Hershey RV Show. Hershey Show week, baby. Yeah. yeah. So come and see us. We'll be there. You can't miss us in the big orange tent. Yes. And we hope to see you. Andrea, it's super exciting. And what's even more exciting is there was a bad storm last night, but that means it's only 85 degrees today. And so we are so thankful. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Thor Aria 3401. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 34 feet 7 inches. This is a Thor Aria, it's their tier 2 diesel pusher. Their entry level is the Palazzo. Then you have Aria, and then when you get to the bigger ones, you have Venetian and Tuscany. I love this. This is their smallest diesel pusher. This sits on a custom Freightliner XDR chassis. It's 360 horsepower and 800 pound feet of torque. What's really exciting is, Andrea, on this small motorhome, it's actually an XCR chassis, so it's raised rail. So we're gonna get some awesome storage. We'll show you that in just a few moments. Aria, love the name, came out in 2018-ish. Nice windshield right there. And then I love the headlight designs, right? And then you have the LED lights right there. Underneath here, we do have a generator. I believe it's an Onan 8000 generator, but let's check it out, Andrea. like that Andrea it is the Onan 8000 generator oh, these things it's like dang rocket scientists have you got to be a dang we'll rocket your word for it no Matt. you got to be a dang rocket scientist for all this. oh there it is yes ma'am right there Onan 8000 QD generator okay very nice and then coming around the side Andrea Check out those nice chrome mirrors. Big bus style mirrors on the left side and right side. And there is cameras integrated in the mirrors up top there. Nice front bus style door with a door awning. Frameless windows throughout this motorhome. Very nice. Fuel fill up on each side. And then look at these tires, Andrea, and they're Michelin's. 275-80R22.5. Very nice with the big AccuRide rims. And Matt, I will touch on the... Uh awning there it looks like it has a wind sensor in it which yes, is nice the awnings actually on the slide out which is a huge plus and the wind sensor so if the wind blows too hard it will automatically retract the awning back in right here we have some storage and then look at this on tray oh nice on a moride tray yes moride slide out tray xcr raised rail chassis i love that also it does come with some spare tiles right here we do have the insignia tv for the outside and then here, Andrea, is our potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Yes, ma'am. Now, again, there's not a lot of storage because this is a short motorhome. But still, to get past here on a motorhome this small, it's pretty impressive. Right here's our batteries. And then, Andrea, look at the paint jobs. Updated paint job for 2023. Again, Aria has always done a great job keeping a great price point, um, but then also having some luxury features to it. Right here's your inverter, 2000 watt inverter and everything else that you want. Battery disconnect. And then coming around the back, Andre, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. 10,000 pound hitch. This motorhome 
10 toe, 10,000 pounds, always know before you tow. I'm not telling you that. You're always good with seven, 8,000 pounds. It always really depends on how much you load up in the motorhome. Right there you have rear lights and a backup camera and there is a ladder, Andre, to get up on the roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Now Matt, be careful because it did rain last night. Here we go now. Hold on. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Wine guard digital antenna, two max air fan covers, and right there, there's a solar panel already on the roof. Hey, Matt, hold on. Here we go, now. Two steps. Yes, ma'am. Oh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. Right here, 50 amp power cord, a power transfer switch, batteries right here. More batteries. And right up here, we have an instant tankless water heater. Yes, ma'am. I love how they continue the Me paint too. job on that. It looks nice. Right here's where we fill up our DEF. Okay. And then, ding, ding. Ooh, ding. wet bay, water purifier system, outdoor shower. Yes. Thor's been doing a lot better job on yes, that. Yes, I agree. Here is the other side of the storage with the Morai tray. The Morai tray slides out both ways. Propane tank. Huge propane tank, Andrea. And then right here, bing, is all the specifications about this motorhome for everybody who is watching on television. Got another fuel fill up. Yes. And then here's your hydraulics for your auto leveling. And that's the little, the little knob thing that I got to access the generator. Well, Andre, the outside of this area looks great, but the inside does look even better. Let's go take a look. Take a look. Watch your step. Yeah, I slid there. Our cargo carrying capacity, 5527. Wow, 5,527 pounds. Look at this. Okay, wow. Opposing slides and plenty of space to get through. Yes. And it opens up a little bit more. Here's the bathroom. Open the fridge and let me see the bed. Up oh, bed looks like a tilt of you. So you can't use that with the slide in. Well, you can use it, but you can't lay down on it. Oh, Matt's favorite monkey picture. Uh oh. Yes, the Art Deco monkey. And again, Andre, this floor plan, people are trending to the smaller diesel pushers. And Andrea, while we're getting the slide outs out, this week is Hershey RV Show week. Guys, we are super excited to meet everybody. And this episode is sponsored by RV Life. Use our promo code MATSRVREVIEWS to get a free week trial and 25% off. Make sure you visit the RV Life display at the Hershey Show. Talk to them about RV Life. Talk to Patrick. Make sure you tell them that you guys love Matt's RV Reviews. And um, not only that, if you do plan on going to the show, RV Life is hosting seminars every single day. Guys, there's so many features about the app that I don't even know how it's used. So they're just a great partner and go to the seminar. It's half hour, hour. It's 100% worth your time. You will kick yourself by not planning every camping trip by using RV Life. Andrea, these some big slide outs. They sure are. Look how much just opened up. It's gorgeous though. Great, Andrea, now that I open up the slides, check out that bathroom and then meet me up front in the cockpit You mean the bedroom? Yes, ma'am. Oh, so nice. Did a good job on the de on the decor in here. Of course. Andre, we're starting right up here. First and foremost, check out the driver's seat. Nice driver's seat. Comfortable. I love the stitching. You got the uh, door embroidery right there. This does have the auto leveling. All my controls right here. Air ride suspension. And then here is our Freightliner steering wheel. It is a telescoping steering wheel. So it goes up, down, in and out. We have the digital display dash, all my air conditioning controls, and then check out this screen. This has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM Radio, navigation. This is also going to show our cameras, our left side, right side, and reverse side. We have USB there. 
And then a little bit of storage right oh. there. And then Andrea, how does the co-captain seat feel? It feels nice. Yeah. So I do see we have daytime shade. Okay. Privacy shade. I got a cup holder. Uh, you guys, it does have a step cover here, but I do see the buttons all the way down here. Oh, man. The steps come up and it becomes a flush floor. Yes. Yes. And both these seats do swivel, become part of the living area, and there is a footrest on this one. So we got some storage up here. Move your arm, please. Thank you. And then, I don't know about this one. Let me see. Let's oh, see. Yeah. A little bit more storage. You know yeah. why, Andrea? You never have enough. Yes. Oh, right. wow. You know what? I like this. See, this is going to cover the door. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Speakers up there. That's nice. motorized. Nice TV. Motorized. We have more Shades. storage right here. Oh, okay. very nice. And then over on this side, Matt, let's see. Okay. All right. Not only that, Andre, there's a place for you to put your phones with the little grippy rubber, so it's not that bad. All right. So we your phone doesn't go flying all over the place. Right here, Andrea. You got the Euro locked. The bunk over the cab. Which Five, is, is it 500 pounds? Uh, it sure is. Okay. 500 pounds. Really good size, Andrea. Comfortable. Okay, so I do see the ladder there. Yes. It does have those wooden slats, what makes it more comfortable. Yep. But again, it is for the non-paying customers. And again, that ladder goes right there so people can climb in and out of it. And then over here, Andrea, I love, love, love Thor's cabinetry. Pretty. They always do a good job. This is the matte look. I think they adopted this look from their Venetian from last year which makes it look really good. Over here's the valances. Andrea? Approved! Bing! Oh, Andrea loves door valances. They are cute. And then how do you feel about that light sconce there? They are there? cute. Very nice. Very cute. Don't forget the Bev. Never, never, never. Entertainment seating there. Andrea, this is the life. This is the diesel <laughs> pusher life. Right here we have cup holders, okay? Right here, this is where the remote controls go. This is just a nice, comfortable seating, and we are directly across from the TV Entertainment Center. Right over here, again, with the balances that Andrea loves, we do have storage all the way above. Oh, look at this table. TV right here, sound system, and yes, Andrea, look at this nice, big, oversized table. Very nice. It does drop down to make a bed. We have cup holders here, and then look how big it is, you know? It is. You can actually play a board game, and if you guys take your phone and scan that QR code, it will be able to show you more features about the Aria, and, oh, oh look at that. wow. And it's got springs in it, so it's probably a lot more comfortable to sit on. Not only that, Andre, there is car seat tethers as well. Let me check to see if there's storage underneath here. Of course. Sure is. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome is $415,635, Andrea. That is the MSRP sale price. You know we can always get you a lot better sale price than that. If you're interested in this Aria, all you have to do is go to mattsrvareviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're gonna make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Andrea, show us this kitchen. I will, but look at this. How do you like it? I like it. I like it. It's very modern, and it covers up the air conditioning. Yes. Okay, so look at this kitchen. Look at this solid surface countertop. They gave you a nice window in here, a tower of power. Hey, that's a nice tower of power. We got a cabinet with adjustable shelf. Okay. Okay, over here as well. And then we have Okay, sponges. Sponges, yes ma'am. Nice uh, storage in there. That's for these, uh, what are they called, sink covers? Yes. Let's see what we got here. We've got oh, a double sink. Oh man, nice stainless steel sink right there. Double sink, got an extension there. And oh, under here. Very nice. Okay, we've got, oh, is this soft close? Oh. Of course it's soft, soft close, close, Andrea. That's very nice. And look at the LED lights underneath. Really yes. Cool. Got a Whirlpool convection microwave. Okay. Very nice. Two burner induction cooktop. Cute backsplash. And look at this. Would you oh look at that? Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. That locks. Andrea, look at it. I know, I'm looking at it. Would you look at that? I like it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, let's open this one. Yes. Wow, very nice. And I like how it locks too. Yes. Okay, and then over here we have the residential GE refrigerator. Very nice. Okay. Yes. And then we have the uh, pantry over here. Oh, yes. I love these pantries. Thor just does it better. Yeah, they do. Very nice. And then I like that it locks into place, you know? Yes. And then same thing down here. Very nice. Okay. And then Andrea, Art Deco. This is my Art Deco monkey with a top hat. Okay. <laughs> so the way I see it, this is the monkey head. Looks like a Ninja Turtle. No, that's his ear. Okay. That's his little hat that he's wearing. And then this is his mouth and his teeth. Hey. I still don't see it. It's there. It's there. Not only that, Andre, right here is the touch screen where you can control everything, air conditioning, right? And the then we have, in here. that must be for the dinette. Right. Ow, Matt. I'm sorry. All right, check out this bathroom. Let me get this up real quick. Oh, good size shower. Let me see, let me see. You got a seat in yeah. there too, look. Good size shower, not bad. Definitely not the best, definitely not the worst. Okay, but again, for a small diesel like this, it's pretty nice. Big, big cabinet right oh, here. Oh, yeah. Cabinet. I like how they continue the backsplash in here. We've got a drawer here. Uh huh. And then a round sink, and okay. then more storage right there. All right, Andrea. I have a feeling you're going to like that. I have a feeling. I have a feeling, too. <laughs> Andrea, this is a prime poop position being very nice all right all right going into the master we got a pocket door got wardrobe right here very big adjustable shelves very nice and six drawers down there wow got storage behind the tv yes okay. ma'am another cabinet right next to you very Plenty nice storage in here tons tons look at this drawer Roar. Six of them. Six of them. What's so nice. behind you? Stackable washer and dryer. Andre, in a short diesel pusher like this, this is absolutely fantastic. It is stackable. Right here, we do have a step up. Okay. Got another drawer there. Yes. And then right here, we've got a closet. Okay. Very nice. Kind of little, though. It is. Andre, I mean, it's a little Oh, I like that. Watch out, Matt. That has adjustable shelves. Yes. Okay. Yes. King size tilt of view bed. Yes, tilt up bed. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't like how it's the tilt up bed. Nice storage all above the windows and everything. We have nightstands with bit storage, storage under there yes. on both sides. And then again, I love this cabinetry. It looks I absolutely do too. fantastic. Well, Andrea. That's it, that's the review. Now before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about this motor home and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we love about it. First? Yes. Number one, Andrea, if you don't mind, I love the size. This is where the market's going. People still want diesels, people still want luxury, but people still want short. The fact that it's very spacious on the inside with being such a small motor home, Andrea, the dang GoPro died, but what I was saying was, I love how short this motorhome is with all the slide outs. This is really where the market's going, and that is like number one. Andrea, like number two. Like number two, I really love this dinette. Talk to me. I really love how big this table is. Yes. And I love that it has springs in the dinette. Oh, very nice, yes. and easy to storage on the out yes. access. That is number two, Andrea. And then number three for me, I love how it's gonna be the Freightliner XCR chassis. It's a small motorhome, but that XCR gives it raised rail. So even though it's so small, that slide out storage tray is really, really nice. A lot of competitors are using a straight rail chassis on this small motorhome. Thor spent the extra money, got the XCR, and they did a fantastic job on it. Well, Andrea, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. And Andrea, the first one is actually outside. Andrea, dislike number one for me, 50 amp power cord, we're in diesel pusher land. They all need to have 50 amp power cord rails. I don't care if it's a sports coach or a Palazzo, anything entry level. When you 
used the DP diesel pusher. I 100% want a 50 amp power cord reel. Do not like that, Andrea. That is dislike number one. That is dislike number one. Andrea, do you have a dislike number two? I do have a dislike number two. Talk to me. I I don't really care for the TV right there. Yes, I'm I wish it was of, on a televator. I do too, because I would like to have a, a window. Yes. You know, so that's my dislike. It was pretty hard. No, Andrea, <laughs> you actually stole my dislike because I 100% agree with you. It definitely should have been on a televator. Um, but it just kind of is what it is. That's number two, and then Andre. Number three, it is what it is with this motorhome. This is a small motorhome. I don't like this here. Uh, Andrea sleeps on that side of the bed. So I know when she comes out, she's going to be tripping over this. And it just kind of is what it is. Um, the, the whole thing is, normally this is in the very back closet area. But with this motorhome trying to be so small, it has to be kind of in the middle of the bedroom. It's just something that I'm not a huge fan about. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we can't wait to meet everybody this week. Hershey Show Week, Hershey, Pennsylvania. We are going to be at the same display spot that we were last year. We can't wait to see everybody. And um, we just can't wait to see you. I mean, it's super exciting. If you guys are interested in buying this motorhome, go to the website, mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're going to make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Andrea, what do you want to say? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Or just read the comments and they do watch the videos. So please leave your feedback. Uh, again, don't forget to come visit us this week at the Hershey RV Show. You guys, this is what we look forward to. So come on down and see us. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.